Capital Rider. Rider. First ever MAGA Chud who has been held responsible for his actions. This is remarkable, folks. I mean, thinking about crazy accountability. What? That's weird, dude. Get the fuck out of here. News in the first felony sentencing from the 6th January 6th attack on the Capitol, Paul Allard Hodgkins of Florida just sentenced to eight months in prison. Hodgkins was seen inside the Senate chamber with a, tr a Trump flag, a rope, and goggles. NBC News correspondent Pete Williams joins us now. Pete, this writer did not assault anyone or destroy property. How do you judge his sentencing? Well, the, the prosecution had asked for 18 months in prison. That was basically the sentencing guidelines here. His own lawyer said no prison time, maybe home detention. And Randolph Moss, the federal judge, sentenced him, as you said, to eight months in prison plus two years of supervised release. The judge said, addressing um, Hodgkins in court, although you were only one member of a larger mob, you actively participated in a larger event that threatened the Capitol and democracy itself. The judge said the damage that was caused that way was beyond a several hour delay of the vote count. It's a damage that will persist in this country for several decades. Now, Hodgkins himself did address the court today, Andrea. He said that he was truly remorseful and regretful because he feared the damage that the incident has caused could hurt the country. But he said, I realize my involvement still did contribute to the greater problem that took place. So he did want to take some responsibility. Um, the, 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 uh, this is the first, as you say, felony charge. There have been uh, two other guilty pleas. They were misdemeanors. So this, uh, this was uh, the prosecution said, you know, use this to lay down a marker that would say you can't attack the Capitol. You can't dis destroy democracy. Eight months. I mean, it was an attempt. You know what I mean? I, people are going to get mad at me, but like, I think eight months is fine. Like, I, I do. I think eight months is fine. I, I really do. And whenever people say, well, you know, black men get uh, thrown in prison for much longer sentences for significantly less. Yeah. And that's really fucked up. And that should no longer happen. You feel me? Of course you would say that. I mean, yeah, I, of course I would say that because I think that, it, uh, yes, I, I am a... Uh, a consistent advocate for rehabilitation over incarceration and i believe that the criminal justice uh system is incredibly racist and also incredibly punitive and that's wrong so you know wait was that person's name literally we must secure oh okay what about the oh dude fuck you dude what about derek chauvin i've talked about derek chauvin as well i think his sentences was just his sentence was just for murder yeah that's a nazi by the way folks we must secure is the 14 words is the first three words of the 14 words that, that's just a literal nazi disrupt democracy there are going to be consequences but i think realistically andrea uh while this sentence is probably on the lower range of what will be the ultimate list of sentences from all these hundreds of cases involving felonies there are many more serious sentences to come for those people who did destroy property or who did engage among the worst charges, engage in violence. And in terms of his own um, regrets or apologies, take us inside the courthouse. What happened today? Well, he did. My fear is that like, you know, people who people who fucking say like, well, black people get way longer sentences like we have to fucking, you know, we have to hit this guy with the book, right? Liberals who say that don't realize that, like, you know, this is going to be used on black people, too, right? As a matter of fact, the overwhelming majority of, like, uh, protesters that get caught and arrested are now going to be black people. Like, oh, they, you know, they broke windows. Like, they, they already do that. <laughs> they didn't need this to, to do that. For any matter of political protest that, like, gets out of control... Even though this is different than like, uh, this is different morally from a Black Lives Matter protest because it's fucking bullshit. Like the basis is bullshit. It's built on a lie. And it's also different because it was deliberate and uh, the ultimate goal was to, you know, storm the Capitol. So it was pointed versus most of the Black Lives Matter protests are, of course, uh, uh, nonviolent. And then the ones that are violent or the ones that do uh, escalate are escalated because like police... Uh, brutally fucking start beating the shit out of the protesters. So it's usually something that isn't 
you know, predetermined. Yes, Khalif Browder did spend three years in Rikers Island without a trial for allegedly stealing a backpack. This is true. This is true. He also committed suicide. This dude deserves uh, to go to uh, jail. I'm not saying that this dude doesn't deserve to go to prison. I, I think he should. He should face the consequences of his actions. I am fully on board with that. Because I know that there are uh, very famous lefties even who are uh, who I otherwise love and uh, appreciate their support or, or appreciate their fucking points of view that have a different opinion on this than I do. I'm a, I'm a bit more um, on the side of like, no, these people should be punished 100%. Address the court. He had he had submitted a, a court document earlier, an affidavit, a statement. But he did re ad read a statement, looking down at it most of the time. Address. Lol. Have you seen the sheer amount of videos circulating around? BLM has caused billions in damages. Not true. A lot of it to black business owners. Also not true. Uh, you made that up. And also, you don't care about black people. Why the fuck are you bringing up black business? Because you think you're gonna fucking own me in the argument? Like. Just not true. None of the things that you said are true. Okay? But also, don't fucking act like you give a shit about black business owners or black people in general. Because, again, like, Black Lives Matter as a political movement is something that black business owners are fucking on board with, too. With the exception of, like, I guess the eight fucking uh, psychotic reactionary black conservatives that uh, probably get circulated all over the fucking uh, conservative uh, ecosystems. Addressing the judge, says he was sorry for what he did, that he was swept up in the moment. Uh, and uh, it, But he asked also the judge to not to sentence him to prison. He said, you know, if you sentence me to any time in prison, I'm going to lose my job. I'm a mechanic. I'm a, a, in an apprenticeship. It'll set me back. So he would... Oh, fuck, dude. That's crazy. I mean, look, I, I, I wish him a very well uh, rehabilitative process. But yeah, dude, you can't, like, you can't be fucking storming the Capitol with rope and talking about how you want to hang motherfuckers, dude. Like, what are you doing? And then five people die. Yeah, you're going to get fucked, dog. That's how it works. Like, what do you mean? The sentencing could set the bar of punishments for hundreds of defendants. Video footage shows Hodgkins wearing a Trump 2020 t-shirt, the flag flung over his shoulder, and eye goggles around his neck inside the Senate. He took a selfie with a self-described shaman. His lawyer pleaded with Judge Randolph Moss to spare his 38-year-old client time in prison, saying the shame that will attach Hodgkins for the rest of his life should be factored in as punishment. Oh my God, dude. The lawyer argued in court that Hodgkins' actions weren't markedly different than those of Anna Morgan Lloyd, other than Hodgkins stepping onto the Senate floor. The 49-year-old from Indiana was the first of roughly 500 arrested to be sentenced pleaded guilty to misdemeanor disorderly conduct last month and was sentenced to three years of probation. Hodgkins was never accused of assaulting anyone or damaging property. The prosecutor says he deserves some leniency for taking responsibility and also immediately pleading guilty to the obstruction charges. Yeah, why are they fucking um, throwing the book at this guy, though? That is interesting. I mean, he did have rope. I think that's probably why. But they also noted how he boarded a bus in his hometown of Tampa, bound for January 6th Trump rally. Oh, God, he's from Tampa. Just lock him up. Fuck it, dude. I mean, look, if you're from Tampa and you're fucking getting on a bus to go all the way up to the Capitol, yeah, just, just to be safe. That right there, officers. <laughs> Chill. I'm from Tampa. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Do you usually talk about feminism? I believe that feminism is a social construct that tries to change men's behaviors in order to follow the feminine narrative. If you are a man and you go against it, you are considered sexist and toxic male. What is your look on this? I, yes, I do think that, um, you know, it's not the feminine narrative, but rather uh, correcting a uh, historically patriarchal social construct that society has developed around. And uh, I do agree that equality is a necessity. For all marginalized groups, and, and women are no different. What kind of feminist do you define yourself as? A sexy one. A sexy feminist. 